Hey there, and welcome to another episode of this uh, Warlock playthrough. I'm going to be continuing with that crime scene investigation. The double homicide. Suspected murder-suicide turned double homicide. Yeah, Father Loran in the open hand temple. I'm going to figure this thing out one way or another. I just got done speaking with both of the victims who described in a dwarf with red clothes. A dwarf dressed in all red. And uh, I... When I was playing, I heard a red dwarf. Because that makes sense to me. Because red dwarfs are a thing. Red dwarfs exist. Except not in this type of environment. Isn't a red dwarf like a planet? <laughs> a type of uh, solar body? Uh, yeah, I don't think red dwarfs are a race or whatever. So first thing I do is I turn on all the candles. I never want to not get the clue that has to do with all the candles or torches being turned on. So I do that. Nothing happens. But Asterian was successful in a perception check and he sees this sign that when you move it reveals a button and I make the assumption. Yep, there's a sign on the other wall. Since the door didn't open, it probably has to be both. And luckily, only Carbrick misses it, and I get the door open. Fortunately, here we are. Can't risk being in open view. Yeah, lots of blood down here. Lots of stuff going on. Ah, oh, gosh. And I see some red areas over there. Which tells me there are some guys over here. Muzz, Zom, and Rudd. Seem like a couple of bandits. Lots of dead bodies, though. A sharper one than Dollar. He spends too much time with his prey. He's gonna get caught. Interesting. So it seems like it's a murder group? Or just like bandits? Then move on to the flop house. I don't think I... I gotta write that down. Why, why wasn't I taking notes? Ugh. Then move on. On to the flop house. <sighs> Every clue is important. That's not true. But the flop house seems interesting. I have no idea what the flop house is, but maybe if I ask around town and try to see if anybody else knows what the flop house is. Figure something out from that. Yes, yes, yes. Delore is an artist. You do well to think on that. This Delore guy seems like quite the individual. Ready for anything. So I want to get... Sorry about that. I was just playing with the sticky notes. I was legitimately taking notes. I want to get my guys into place and then I want to walk and approach them with Carbrick and see if they'll just like talk to me. Nope, they won't. They're just going to attack me. And this one saw Asarian and Lazel. So my sneak attack angle was thwarted. But there are only three of them, so I'm not too worried about this. I am pretty well leveled at this point. 
I'm gonna try hold person. Tari must be a humanoid. Now this um this is very confusing for me because I was kind of surprised when it turned out that mind flayers and elithids weren't. And it turns out these are doppelgangers, so they're not even they're creatures. Oh my gosh. Now I don't know I don't know much about doppelgangers. So I can cast old monster on it, but I really don't think it's worth it because it's not, you know, there's not a lot going on. I've missed this. You know, it's just these three guys. I don't really, there's not one of them that's like exceedingly like quintuple the health points of the other ones health points and power of the other ones so i'm not really interested in stunning any of them casting hold monster oof It was a field report for Death Deathstalker Zoom. Well, there goes my imp. Killed by my own step forward. hubris. And I go run over here and hide in the corner. I need to be using that fly ability more often just to get exactly where I want to go. That's going to be super useful. I'm going to hide down here. I keep trying to hide behind boxes and stuff. And uh, it's not the move. It's for sure not the move. Oh, I see something there. Oh, there's a hole. Oh my god. I definitely forgot about that hole. Okay, most likely forgot about the hole. I don't know if definitely is the right word to be using. This is crazy, man. But that's why that's why you gotta come back and watch the footage. That's the huge advantage of doing this. You miss stuff. I shouldn't have missed that. That was an obvious thing that I really needed to capitalize on. And I just didn't. Of course, I saw it in the middle of the fight. Take this, Zom. I'm oh, just kidding. Pink. Maybe I could be hiding behind that thing. Maybe I was hiding behind it. I feel like I got seen, but maybe it's just the item type. Maybe I can be hiding behind items. I just need to check first. But there wasn't any way to check because they were blinded and she walked into the spot where I was unfortunate. I accidentally clicked something else and Lazal walked out of the Time to push my luck again. Light on my feet. Uh walked out of her attack range, so she got an attack of opportunity off on Lazal. Unfortunate. Oh. I'm gonna finish this one off. It's a little bit of a waste of the uh a spell slot for the warlock, but whatever. What are you going to do? It kind of floored this guy. This guy had no idea what to do with it. 
Yeah, the AI has no clue what's going on. But... No, it's fine. I'm just gonna... Another switch to Carbrick and see if I can finish him off. Yeah, perfect. The 9 was the critical hit and the 12 wasn't the critical hit. I feel like this spell is getting weaker and weaker. Less and less worth my turn. But I am getting a lot more things to do during these turns. What are those interlocking hearts that's above the fly on my uh, clown's severed Clown severed torso. Ah, oh, darn it. Where's my notepad? It's like, why would I want a clown severed torso? And I just like overlooked it. It's it's got an a brown border. I need to realize that the brown border stuff is like important. It's it's like main quest items. Okay, I am going to use the trick of disguising yourself so I can speak with this guy. I need as much info as I can get about what's going on right now. We're solving a murder. Nay, we're solving two Regarding murders. Lifelessly. Who are you? Faceless. Eater of men. Eater of men. Okay. Oh Lord, did splendid kill. I mean, I guess what was splendid about it? Everyone knows about it, you know. I guess blaming it on somebody else is kind of a splendid thing for murderers to do. From the perspective of the murderers, yeah. So it wasn't a splendid kill. It was a careless kill. You're ridiculous. Keep your story straight. Now how does he know he left the dagger? Has he been speaking? Yeah, see, okay, it was a blood red dwarf. You can ask no more questions. It was a blood red dwarf. That's where I got it from. Not dressed in red clothes. The red dwarf. And he had this flower key on him as well. It's probably going to be important, but who knows with what. I love when the game bugs out like that and the character's just standing. The dead, dead, dead character is just left standing there. It's funny. It's it amuses me. Amuses. Oh, interesting. That's that area. I might as well check it out. Oh, doors. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Every second. And then realize that this is back, like, literally where I just came from. And then forget that there was the path from before that I was going to go check. Oh my gosh, my attention span. What happened to it? Did it ever exist in the first place? Great question. I have no idea. Don't waste but... a step. Gosh, this sucks. It just killed these refugees. Just murdered them out of cold blood. Father Logan was trying to help. Yeah. Look at these people. These poor people. Of course it's tieflings. Tieflings just got like this short and every time. The short straw. Every freaking time. Every possible way that you could get screwed over, the tieflings have gotten it in this game. Unfortunate. I 
I really want to find Zevlor. Cause I feel like he's still around. Yeah, they keep bringing him up, even though we died in the first act. But maybe it's just him not appearing is because he's dead, right? And we're just, that was like a corner of the humongous dialogue tree that was missed, which if that's the case, I am fine with that. But if I'm, I, I would be upset about missing, like me missing dialogue, you know? Having these guys constantly bringing up Zevlor, these tieflings, constantly bringing them up. Wonder if the I don't know. Watching me. It makes me feel like there's something going on that I'm that I'm missing. Some gameplay loop happening. Some explanation for Zevlor still being alive that I'm missing as well. So, I'm seeing this cloud kill down here. I don't know what's going on, but... Seems pretty interesting. There's a chest. So I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to walk away from it. Man, my attention span is crazy. What's funny is I almost click on, like, directly on the hole that I had found and completely forgotten about. It's right there. I'm seeing it. I'm almost hovering it so many times. That's so funny. Unfortunate. It's crazy that... I wanted to be a detective so bad in this episode that I actually missed hella clues like a regular detective would, you know? Just overlook everything. Just kidding. <laughs> Throwing shade <laughs> on uh, detectives for no reason. It, <laughs> I have no idea your life. I have no idea. But it is like so common in entertainment and media that there's the main character and then there's the detective and the detective is just a pompous prick that gets everything wrong and doesn't believe in the main character and then the MC is just doing their thing and solving the case behind the the main detectives back the head detectives back using some of the head detectives, friends and lower uh, officers to uh, get a little bit of info to help the investigation, the actual true investigation behind the head detectives back. That's such a trope that happens in all like crime shows that the detective is just incompetent. And it sucks that I fell into that spot rather than the main character spot that I just decided to role play as the incompetent head detective rather than actually solve the crime. But you know, that's how we, we got to make it a little bit more difficult. If the game is going to make this stuff too easy, you know, I got to I got to create some false difficulty. You know, or to be able to solve this kind of crime my the caliber of crime that i can solve is uh you know far above what this game accounts for probably 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 i did play there was a game that came out a little bit ago it was a really small game but i think it got a decent amount of attention it was like shadow of doubt i think that's what it was called shadow of doubt shadows of doubt maybe i'll make a video about it uh, that game is a lot of fun. It's like a voxel um, crime. You're a detective in a crime city game and their crimes are procedurally generated. The city is procedurally generated. And you could just solve crimes, you know. And it was really cool. You, you had like a, a cork board full of notes that you could write out for yourself. I love that game. I played it a lot, actually. Uh, but it, it got a little repetitive after a little bit because I played it like right out the gates as soon it was like as soon as it was first release. I don't even think the main version of it has released. This is like a pre-release that I that I played of it. There's, I guess this is, I don't know if it's the beta. 
I, I think it's the pre-release. Man, the structure of game releases has gotten so convoluted that I kind of get it. There's alphas and betas that are like testing phases. And then there's the full release phase that is like a quote unquote stable version of the game. And then they'll release that and charge for it usually. And then they're going to continue to work on it until 1.0. So there's the zero, you know, update zero phase. And I, I jumped in at update 0.0. .0. First day it was released and loved it. There were a lot of bugs, but whatever, like, I don't care. I am really okay with bugs. I played, man, I played Cyberpunk when it first released. I am extremely okay with bugs and terrible graphics, as you've seen from the first majority of this playthrough is really terrible graphics and some bugs. I, I just have like a good, I don't know. There's there's humor in it for me. The corpse regards you lifeless. All right, what's going on with this guy? Is this another individual that was murdered? It seems like it, probably. Garrett. Of course, Garrett. Yeah, sure. Pushed. Felt bones break. Oof, that sucks. Darkness. So he was pushed off of something. What were you pushed off of? Yeah, what was the last thing you remember? Buying heirlooms. Okay. Vulture challenged him. You challenged him? Okay. Brothers That's what it seems like. Died on the road. Man tried to buy. Okay. So this sleazy guy fled armies lost everything saw he had an expensive ring and he was down on his luck so he tried to buy it from him and the guy was like no I'm not going to do that you you don't have the best interests you know I didn't even take the ring dude I am slipping in this episode i am so sorry about this what is going on man i got so much to do i hit my next session oh man get your head in the game man get your head in the game oh this is the back end of that uh that other situation with murdered refugees this is uh in the well right yes yeah there's the bucket Okay. So this is kind of creating a path. Why were refugees here? And why were they murdered? And why can't I talk to them? Oh, I'm so curious what happened down here. Ready. If only Asterion could get across. He's got nothing. He's got nothing to get him across. He does have that arrow that if he shoots it somewhere, it'll teleport him to it, but I'm pff, I'm not going to use it now. I could use the psionic leap that um, Lazel and Carbrick have, but I was just kind of against it. I could just teleport to town. Right, I could teleport to the waypoint, Rivington, that's the one. And then come down the well, which doesn't make any sense. Because Asterion couldn't get to the middle of it. But I think I... Um, I just wanted to get to the outside of the well, too, to see if the trail of blood led to led anywhere if if the trail of blood that was around here was leading to or from uh, that's the goal so the well's here but i don't the the trail of blood goes right past the well like it starts over there right this is where it starts and then it goes up here so the trail of blood isn't linked to the murdered 
refugees down there. I realized I never went in here. I did, in the recording when I was watching it back, hear the screams coming from here. It was, it wasn't like a lot of screams. It was just like one scream, but it was a scream. Yeah, and it's like pain. It was a it was a pain scream, not a help me scream. Which I know those sound like they are the same thing, but I'm they are pretty different. One is like ow, and the other one's like help. Yeah, so well, <laughs> it's kind of obvious. But you know how it is. Um, I'm trying to check out this dwarf here. And then I get distracted again. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm all over the place. That dwarf wasn't wearing red clothes. So I don't think that was the one. But was the dwarf actually wearing red clothes? That's the question. So they heard the scream too. And they're just like, yeah, it was probably just the windmill making random sounds. Oh, there's a hatch. Of course there's a hatch. Of course I have to go down and not see where I'm going. All right, what do we got down here? What is going on? That is, that's a mind flayer. What? Why is there a mind flayer here? It's brain starved. So it's got, oh my gosh, it's got a negative 10 to all of its abilities while it's starved. So I could beat the snot out of this thing. Mind my step. I kind of want to interact with it. Is this like a? You, the Why is there just body of a, mind a mind flayer here? Glistening and raw. Is this one of the absolutes guys? A newborn, unattended. How fortunate. How fortunate? Am I gonna get a... It doesn't feel very fortunate. Connect your mind to the fledgling aberration and wake it up. Attack it before it wakes up or sneak away. I have disadvantage on it because of my armor. Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable. Its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on, kill it. Oh. So Power, oh, like what? Did before. Wait, this dude is just like trying to kill its own? I guess. Like it's trying to make its own more powerful. Oh, this, this is weird. But I've never seen Great Old One before. Which is my patron. I kind of want to do something with the patron. And it woke him up. Is he gonna say something to me about the great old one? You. What are you? What am I sensing? Great question. You are like me. Like I was. A vessel yet to transform. Help me. I am so hungry. My vessel. He fought the transformation. He found it excoriating. I can still taste his terror. It is delicious, but will not sustain me. That's gross. We need to feed. We need a brain fresh and frantic to restore our strength. You want me to go just get like a person? For you to feed on. 
Yeah, I don't work for free. What you got? I sense you are underdeveloped. Bring me a brain and I will help you augment yourself. Now, what would you know about augmenting me that the Emperor doesn't? Probably nothing, right? What if this guy could actually make me more powerful? No, I don't... But look at that. I have a plus... Freaking 18, 17 to this. Yeah, well, it's a plus 17. That's crazy. I have a plus 17 to my persuasion roll because I took you the thing with us? the illithid power. Shall be our very first meal. Good luck, pal. Time to kill. I don't think he's gonna make it out of... I don't think he's gonna make it to his first turn. Bing bong. That was a big hit. Choice but to keep going. Done. <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> you can even make it through half of our turns. Its mind is still fresh. You can absorb its potential if you consume it. You can absorb its potential if I consume its brain? Dude. Oh, absolute orders. You gain advantage on insight checks. So he should have known that I was trying to attack him well before I was going to attack him. I guess he he was doing a... He didn't have terrible rolls. Or terrible stats. Okay, I'll consume it. I think it just added one to that. Yeah. It didn't give me anything special. It just... Told me, hey. <laughs> like, now you got it. Oh. I didn't realize I got the whole first ring of abilities. That's what the interlocked hearts are. It's one of the first ring of things. That's why I have so many extra things on my bar now. Yeah, I need to get rid of both of these rings that, that are on Carbrick. Because I think they're both useless. He doesn't do any ice damage. He doesn't do any ice damage directly. He does do ice damage with his Hunger of Adar spell. But that's all, like, passively happening to them. That's the condition that gives them... You know, the damage. Yeah, there is a metal monster out there. These guys don't have any dialogue options to be talking about. Oh, is this? Oh, the smith. Finally, I can sell a bunch of my stuff to somebody. What is up, my man? Yes, got to get everything ready. Be able to sell. Perfect. Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. Uh, yeah. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yeah, you know it, yes, dude. I, I traveled own. across the land, man. Swords, maces, Just for you. Bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find a perfect weapon for you? Perfect. Yeah, let's do that, man. How, how do you know what my perfect weapon is? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Oh, okay. How do you like to kill? Quickly. Quickly and effectively, my good man. Not efficiently, effectively. I see. Playing to your strength. Yeah, I'm just I'm a warlock. What do you got for me now, bud? When you kill someone, what do you feel? Great question. Great question. Um I don't know, man. 
This is a weird... A weird question for... Is the closest thing to a smith to be asking me. Themselves. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? On those closest to me? I mean... What? This weapon must be fit for every kill. Even the ones you never think will come. So, answer me honestly. Could you kill one you loved? Dude, what is up with you, man? There's a killer inside you, isn't there? It wouldn't take much to push you over the edge. I guess. Ah, I see what's happening. Oh. What's up? You know, you could have just talked You're to me. You didn't have to go through all that. Who crushed the Bone Lord's thrall. <laughs> the Bone Lord's thrall. Have you come begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like mm, No, nah, I was probably going to kill you. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. Oh. You could kill him. Let him close and make him feel the tickle of your blade between his ribs. <laughs> Why don't you do that? When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. Okay, sure. So yeah. Wait, why am I passing time. your... How long has she been watching? I don't want to pass her message on. Whoa. You! Wait, what? Try attacking me when we back isn't turned, you bloody coward. Oh, he's blaming me for this? Oh, snap. Um. Now you're acting innocent. Yeah, what are you, are you talking about, dude? After you near caved me bloody skull in, I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. Oh, don't do that, dude. You must have been attacked by my twin. He's a real handful. You had a blow to the head. Are you sure you're remembering correctly? That sounds that sounds about right. Just gaslight the guy. Might as well. Look at that. So many bonuses. 17. Look at this. Watch this number just fly up to the sky. 33. Well, the 33 on that one. Well, Insane. Absolutely bonkers. I'm, ah, I'm sub-level 10, and I rolled a 33 on something. Sworn, it's ridiculous. My head's pounding. I, don't remember. I guess I'm level 9, so saying sub-level 10 is drink. Go on, clear off. ridiculous. I've seen enough of your face today. That's fair. I mean, it is a beautiful face, wouldn't you say? Maybe not. I don't know. Everyone has their preferences, right? Um, can I, can I still buy stuff from you? Oh, this isn't even where you buy stuff from? So I did all that for nothing. Whatever, at least I learned that the dead lady is here. That's, I like the different additions. Oh, I tried to go out to the front and I go through the the whole store to get there. That's hilarious. What's up? How's it going? Hi! Want a blade? Or a bow? Or a dagger? Or maybe a spear is more your thing? Do you got something like magical? Do you got like a staff or something? Buy spear. What'd you say? Huh? It's a pretty good sales pitch. Very good sales pitch. Yep, that's me. Yeah, I check up on your boss up there. He uh, seems to have oh, gotten smacked uh, upside right. the noggin. Yes, I just got to find a way to 
bother him. Huh. Without actually Was he here? Him. He doesn't like to be disturbed when he's in the zone, see? Is there anything Is I can do for you? Is Vicky? I don't know. Um oh, Yes, was this individual here when he was when the the smith was getting assaulted by someone that looked like my character? I have no idea. Ah, uh, finally somebody to buy and sell items from again. I guess I did get to interact with the one at the Harper's camp, but that was the most recent one that I have, uh, barring the the kid that I just bought his entire stock of items from. The Dancing Breeze. It's got extra reach, which is cool. I wonder what extra reach actually does. Does it mean I have extra reach? Do I have like 10 feet of range with that thing? I don't know. Um, I'm kind of keeping in the back of my head that Asterians got on light armor when he could be having on um, medium armor. That's not really important because I think light armor doesn't have any restrictions as to um, how many additional uh, ar armor class points, whatever, you get from dexterity. So him having a really high dexterity would work really well with a uh, with light armor. But something that ha that's a medium armor that has a really high base AC would also work out pretty well for him. Because he doesn't even need the bonus to dexterity, or to AC from dexterity. If it has something else that's beneficial. I'm going to try to toss all this stuff in there, because I am going to get a couple of these things, but... Um... Just gonna put all this stuff there so I can build up to it. So I'll feel like when I'm adding stuff, I'm kind of like trading at the same time. So I'll feel more enticed to buy something that I might be like on the fence about. This is probably gonna be used. I'll probably try it out, right? Try something I wouldn't normally have gotten thinking about this because it would be it would be nice but missing the increase the bull strength and increasing her strength score by two is that's a lot bull strength is really impactful that one's really nice though she doesn't have good gloves on at the moment oh, i'm so close so, I want to be switching around to the other characters. Um, and so I, I wanted to get rid of all the stuff that she had built up there. Um, yeah, I want to be switching around to all the different characters. Was that something that gave me additional movement speed? Was that ring? Did I take off her movement speed ring? Oh, that would be so nice on whoever. Probably not. That was... I'm comparing it to the one that I have equipped. Yeah. She needs the movement speed ring. That thing rocks. That thing is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, definitely going to need these gloves. Very powerful. An additional two damage, was it? Um, When I'm attacking with multiple individuals around me two damage per swing so good that's 
uh, baseline four damage if I'm only attacking two people. Baseline eight damage if I hit both of them because I have advantage. Right? Don't I have advantage? Or is that also my gloves? On Carlac. Isn't my gloves on Carlac that does the additional damage? Or is it the helm? Is it a circlet that does that? I don't know. I gotta figure it out. Um, yeah, so I'm figuring out if Hysterion... Uh, should get any of this medium armor. I mean, that's heavy armor. But this other one is a medium armor. It's got really high AC. I mean, I don't really want to get him this shield. The shield shrouds the wearer in force conduit at the start of turn. Conduit. Start of the turn. Bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage against the affected enemy is reduced by one per turn remaining. If the enemy takes damage while it's five or more turns remaining, it deals 1d4 force damage in a 20 foot radius. Wow. Um. Interesting. I don't know if that is worth um, trading for him because he's not taking a lot of procs of damage. If he takes damage, it's usually once or twice. Like one character solos him out. If he's taking multiple procs of damage. You know. I mean, this is just bad. This is just not the weapon. It is a finesse weapon. But it's two-handed with extra reach. So it'd be... It's more for, like... Probably a warlock or a rogue. It's more for a Starian, I think. Yeah, it's more for a Starian. Why wouldn't I try it for a Starian? Oh, because a Starian's trying to get stealth stuff. A Starian has his dagger that does really good stealth things. Stealth stuff. I'm just going to put up all this stuff so that I'm trading for really nice stuff with my garbage items. But theoretically, they are like going to improve these weapons and sell them for a profit. So who knows? They do have a smith. And I'll give them a little bit extra, make it more valuable for them. Who cares? I could have taken their gold, but I don't care. Oh, that's plus two death saving throws. Want more? Want less? Want to sell? Want to buy? You know where I am. Bye! Oh no, those gloves were an added bonus for initiative. Oh, those were for Asterian. Astarian. I got confused with some of the other items that I had recently gotten. Ugh. Ridiculous. Okay, so now I'm looking through all of the uh, dwarves in town. All the dwarves in town. That one's got red, but that's not. They're not dressed in red. They're not wearing red. They're not a blood red dwarf. So. Where? Where is it? Probably like hidden away somewhere. Probably somewhere specific. Any of these ones over here? No. Oh, well, that's a that's a kid. Well, they did have reddish skin. How about this one? That hat was hiding his identity pretty well. Uh, that's a kid still. Gosh. No, not this one. I guess if it was anyone that was inside of the temple, Father Lorgan would have probably known. 
who it was. The best I realized I was I'm in a different body than I was when I first talked to him. Probably not. I don't actually know. Maybe. I think that dude just has a tan. He's not blood red. Okay. Uh, so now it's saying fit the lock to fit the flower key. So I'm guessing this is where... Um, that's wherever these doppelgangers are hanging out and grouping up. That's That's their hideout. So I need to find wherever there's a lock for this key, which I have no idea where to start. Absolutely no clue. I don't have any like senses. That I wasn't, I knew that wasn't the the guy I'm looking for. I, I just saw a tiefling and I was like, do I know this one? Is this one of the tieflings that I know I need to talk to? Figure out where Halson is. That's the goal. Oh, this is up where I started. <laughs> That's where I came in. Um, maybe you gotta check out the circus. Um, I don't know. Uh, whatever it may be is gonna be safe for the next episode. So thank you very much for hanging out in this one. Um, lots of stuff going on in this town. So much. Hard to keep track of everything that's going on in this town. But we will do it. We'll persevere through this, you and me, together.